Welcome to Scare Theater, and today I'm going to be talking about Alan Tutorial, which was requested by Tom Baker. And here's the scary picture of the day, which was sent in by Grim Reaper. So anyways, here is the video. Alan Tutorial is the name of a YouTube channel that belongs to a mentally ill man who is obsessed with making tutorials. Every tutorial on his channel is pretty useless and doesn't really make any sense at all. There are several parts in his videos that you might find hilarious, and others might be a little bit unnerving. As Alan continues making tutorials, things just get stranger and stranger, which can leave the audience very confused. I first want to get out of the way that the series is in fact fictional and was created by a performance artist from Maryland named Alan Resnick. You can find out more about him and view some of his other projects on alanresnick.info. I personally think that Alan Tutorial is one of the best web series I've seen for a while. Considering that he hasn't posted anything for over 8 months now, I think it's fair to say the series is over. The series, which consisted of 66 videos, begins with Alan making several tutorial videos teaching you how to do weird things such as how to leak on a piece of paper, how to make a windmill, and manga head draw tutorial. He makes several more tutorials in which it's clear that there is something wrong with him, before he makes a tutorial in which he's interrupted by someone repeatedly knocking on the door. Shoot. Who's there? It's okay. What? It's okay. Stop. Anyways, once you have it done, you just hold on and do a tutorial and look down at the tutorial. Let me just finish. Stop it! Stop! Stop! In the tutorial that follows, he appears to be locked in a closet, which he escapes from. After this, things begin to go a little downhill, especially when his blue chair ends up falling over. <laughs> If you have a blue chair that fell down, first thing you gotta do is you get down to the level of the chair and you touch it. After making more ridiculous tutorials, he somehow gets locked out of his house and unsuccessfully tries to get back inside. This is the turning point of the series. In the next tutorial, he's outside somewhere, teaching us how to find water. This is followed by a bunch of tutorials where he's out in the wild teaching us how to do stuff, most of which you can clearly see blood on his hands. In one of his next tutorials, he's in a moving truck and is almost entirely covered in blood. In all the subsequent tutorials, he appears to be trapped in a white room doing tutorials and at one point temporarily switches to news stories and is awarded a dollar from under the door after making each video. In his final video, he manages to break a small hole in the wall and escape the room he has been trapped in. This series seriously is amazing and there's so much to think about after watching it. At first glance, it appears to be a satire of other people on YouTube who make tutorial videos. Just like many other people who make tutorials, Alan's videos are extremely unprofessional, and half the time he has no idea what he's talking about. Uh, and I like to use scissors. Hold on. Where did I come? I couldn't find it, so we're going to use uh, the fork and the paper. So. Yet he still constantly asks for the viewers to like and comment on his videos. Don't forget um, that... It's if you like it and subscribe, you comment and you like it, and you send it on, on Vimeo. Goodbye! Another instance of this is when he's interrupted during his origami tutorial. This could be parodying how a lot of unprofessional YouTubers will have so many interruptions in their video, but fail to cut them out, resulting in a video that's practically unwatchable. And in addition, there's a part where he's given a dollar each time he makes a tutorial. This could represent how desperate some of the content creators are to get money, despite not putting any effort into their videos. But in addition to the satire the series presents, I feel the story is actually really interesting and filled with symbolism. If you choose to watch this series, it's important to watch all the videos and pay very close attention. There are a few recurring elements throughout the series. One example is the color blue. In his How to Make Mail into a Square video, he uses a blue square pop. In his yoga tutorial, he uses a blue mat. When he's eventually captured and taken to what may be a mental asylum, he's trapped in a cell with a red table, which he eventually paints to be entirely blue. And we can't forget the blue chair. Speaking of the blue chair, that's another recurring element. The chair first appears in his How to Pick Up a Blue Chair Off the Ground video. It appears in many more videos including his How to Pick Up a Huge Amount of Pencils video and his How to Eat a Bag of Chips tutorial. It even ends up following him out into the wilderness, making an appearance in his How to Do Spanish Hair Braid video and his Do It Yourself Weatherize Hole tutorial video. 
He even drew the blue chair on the wall when he was captured in the mental asylum, as can be seen in his The Story of the Three Balls video. Um, I'll, uh... Some people think that the chair may represent his failure. Some other recurring elements in the videos are slats of wood, water, which isn't really water, and the money man that he creates and ends up having a conversation with. Ha hello? Oh, hello. Uh, how's it going? There's also a lot of other noteworthy stuff. In his How to Escape a Dark Room and Find a Light video, he ends up crawling out a window, but upon seeing a woman outside, he says, uh-oh, and goes back into the apartment. Uh-oh. There's been a lot of speculation on who the woman is, since she's one of the only people besides Alan to make an appearance in his videos. She's only seen in this one video. Since the video where Alan is interrupted by the person knocking on the door is shown directly before this video, some people think that maybe the woman was the one knocking on the door, as well as the person who locked him in the closet. This would explain why Alan is afraid of her. She may be some type of abusive authority figure, possibly his mother. Another thing that's interesting is that the video right before this one where he's locked out of the apartment depicts him wrecking part of the apartment. If our previous theory about the woman is true, it's possible that she kicked him out of the apartment after this, which would explain why he's locked out in the next video. Another thing worth mentioning is that in his locked out of room tutorial, when he's waiting for help, he starts whispering tutorial ideas to himself. At one point, he whispers to himself, how to kill. This is important to note, because when he's out in the wilderness, he's covered in blood. It's possible that he could have ended up killing somebody, which would also explain why he's captured and locked in a small cell in his later videos. He could possibly be in a mental asylum, as stated earlier. There are a few weird things about the cell he's in. At first, he doesn't seem too distressed, and as time goes on, his cell becomes much more messy. It's apparent that his captors are obviously supplying him with things to make tutorials about, but it appears at one point they ended up abandoning the asylum, leaving him there alone. This first becomes apparent in his V2014-83-4324 video, where the room no longer has any lighting and is only being lit by Alan's flashlight. There are several more videos after this in which he remains in the dark cell until his final video. In his last video, he manages to break a hole in the wall, in which he crawls through to escape before the video abruptly ends. That was the very last video he ever posted. The whole Alan tutorial series might not be terrifying, but it's easily one of my favorite YouTube series. I love how Alan Resnick was able to combine comedy with a dark undertone, all while telling an interesting story. I especially love all the symbolism included in it, and how there's so much discussion that can be had over this. It was also great that everything we could really find out had to be speculated based on the surroundings and what was going on at the time, since everything was being observed from Alan's perspective, and it's pretty clear that he had no idea what was going on. If you haven't watched Alan Tutorial yet, I highly suggest you watch all of his videos in order and see what you're able to find out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the flip side.